how can we make a modern looking dunity chart here in excel so this is what we're gonna learn in today's video and whenever you just change update uh, just insert new rows new values in our spreadsheet the chart the dunity chart is gonna auto update for you so this is why using excel is a beautiful thing because we can do beautiful charts and it's auto update it's dynamic so let's find out how can we do it step by step let's go the first thing that we need to have in excel to build a chart is a data set a data set is the first step we need so it doesn't matter what type of chart you're gonna build here in Excel we need to have a data set so here I have uh, some example just a random data set let's say the way and I have here uh, the actual value and the target one so we just gonna use here two basically two columns that you need to have actual value and then the target we need to compare these two uh, values these two columns the actual one and the target one so the first thing uh, just after have data set in Excel, you can use it uh, with an, whatever information you want to use. So, if any information that you wish, let me start here now with the, the, the first blank column that I have, the column E. And then here I want to know how much my actual value uh, correspond to my target one. So let's say my target value is 100%. Why? Because the target value is the standard one. This is my standard this is my target value, so it's 100%. I want to know how much my actual value just correspond to the target one. So let's say here, the first value that I have, 150,000, how much it correspond to the 100% or even how much it correspond to the 300,000 that I have here. So simple formula, I just need to use equal sign actual value just divide by my target one, enter. Now I have here the result. I can click, hold and drag down. And to make sure I can just uh, put it in, in percentage, I can select all the values that I have, all the formulas, click in the home tab, and then here I can select this, oh sorry, here, the percentage style, so just click, okay. Now I have uh, the values here with a column that I'm showing with the value in percentage. Another column that I need to use here is how much is left from to the actual value just reach the target value. So here in the column F, let's say the way, I need to know the left how much is is left in here i can use uh reach let's say the way how much it's already reached the left uh it's pretty easy equal sign one minus the reach enter okay click hold and drag down now i have the most two important columns that we're gonna use in our donut chart that is the reach and the left value okay to we start here with the chart, I'm uh, just going to click in any blank cell that we have. Click here in the Insert tab, and then I go select the chart. Let's say I want to select here this, this icon, where I have the pie and the donut chart. However, I'm going to stick with the donut pie, donut, uh, donut chart, okay? Here with the chart in the screen, I can click hold and just move around the chart. Let me just make it a little bit smaller, and I'm going to leave it something like a square because it sees to just contain the donut okay now what i can do is just click with the right click in the area of the chart go here to uh select date okay select the date and here i'm gonna click in add series name i can leave it in blank and here where i have the series value equal sign i have this open curly brackets the number one and then i close curly brackets here, just in between these, uh, these curly brackets, I'm going to add uh, a bunch of more number ones. However, in between these, one, these number ones, I'm going to just insert a comma. So why? why? What's the purpose? I, because I'm doing it. Because, let's say, if I just insert five number ones, I can just divide my donut in five parts, in five categories. So that way it's easier to see uh, the information in the chart. It's going to be much more pleasant to look at. It's going to be much more easier to see the information and to see how much the slice of the donut just represents on the total. So here inside these curly brackets, I'm going to insert one comma, one comma, one comma, one comma, one again. So uh, just make sure you just insert five times the number one in between commas okay so let me just click here okay okay again and we can see that the five categories is somewhere here in the chart the five slices okay uh one two three four 
pie, five slices, five different slices. One thing that I can do here is just to delete this, this the legend. So I click, delete. I can change the title. So let me click one time, click again, and here is gonna be let's say uh, the total total sold. Okay. Now let me select the chart again. The done chart. Select all the slices, and then I go here to format, and I'm gonna just change the shape field to a uh, gray one, for example, or even I can paint it into let's say no field and use borders instead so let me just streak with this black outline here click again and then wait I'm gonna use let's say one okay i think it's good now one thing that i can do click again in the chart with the right click and then go to uh, select date and here i can select my reach point and my left one so let's click here in add uh, the series name can be let's say the total sold so instead of just typing because it's somewhere here inside the cell within the cell it can just select the total sold uh, my series value it can be like here in this upper arrow the reach and the left one okay click here in the down arrow okay and okay again we can see that now we have two done its charts in one chart so we just made two done its chart within one chart uh, we have here one and in outside and one here inside now the last step is just to right click in the chart go change chart type and then I go here to the combo chart and instead of just using different chart types I can select just one single type that is the actually donut chart so click here and then total so they're gonna do the same thing select the donut chart yeah you can see that uh, it's pretty much looking like the result that we just saw before in the beginning of the video however one thing that I can change here uh, I can just change the secondary axis to the total sold for example to make it just forward from the servers one so it's of course it's gonna overlap the, the chart I'm gonna do it uh, and then after we do all these layout chains, all the color chains, we move back and then move the series one to forward the chart again. So let me click here. Okay. Now uh, with this orange slice, I can select, click again, right click, format date point. Make sure you just select the orange one. Okay. And here in with this window, I can just click here in fill and line, border, no line, fill, no fill. Now we can move on and select just the blue one, border, no line, and fill. I'm gonna use here, let's say, uh, solid fill and choose a color that is the golden accent four, for example, that's this yellowish color. However, you can just choose any color as you wish. Now we can close it and again, I'm gonna right click in the chart, chart, change chart type, and here in the last option combo, I'm gonna just change again. So the secondary axis now is going to be my series one. Okay, click again. Okay, and we're done. We can also make some change in the background of our donut chart. So let's say I can click in the background, click here in the format tab, and shape outline. I can just use a gray color here to the outline. And of course, shape effects, I can use a shadow like this, for example. Now it's pretty much more pretty to look at, much more pleasant to look at. And just one more little step that I can do here is just select the chart again, right click, format data series, and here in the effect tab I can select shadow and select the first option here. Okay, now it's good. I can close and we're done. Our chart is done. I can of course just increase a little bit to make it easier to see the chart. And whenever I change here my actual value, so let's say now is 150. Uh, thousand and it just represents 50% of the, the total. Uh, let's change it to let's say 200 and press enter. We can see that my chart will be dating for me whenever I change the value. So it's this is why it's a dynamic and interactive chart. So whenever you just change the value, so let's say 2500 enter, the chart's gonna auto update for you. So I hope this video can help you out and I hope you can use this Excel chart in our presentations, in our dashboards, in our reports. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. And I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.